So, hello everybody. Um, I thought I'd have a crack at doing the, a little video for you because obviously I feel bad from the other day. Um, this is not a full video. This is obviously from my point, I think what I'm getting the feeling is that people want to see this next stage of how the colours are pushed out. So I've done the three eight by eights, black and white, sat next to each other. That's the colours I'm going to use. So it's um, teal, plum purple, magenta, a yellow, lime green, orange, and then I might throw a little bit of a cheeky red in somewhere along the line. I've never used this in it, so I don't know how it's going to work. So we're going to have a crack at this then. So what I normally do first is I lay the main colour that I want along like this. Keeping the two ends so that they've got colour when I push the colours out. If you want to drag the black in, you move the colours further to the black. So when you push, the black will go into it. If you want to have the main part of white, you move your colours further up onto the white. So when you blow, you're not taking the black into it. And then when you're finished, you push some of the colours back into the black and move it back in somewhere along that line. So next, I'm going to put down a blue. And then I'm going to go with the plum purple. Then the magenta. Not all the way across, just doing dots. And I'm going to put some of this lime green. And then I want some yellow in here, a little bit there, there, there. I'm not going to put the, put the orange in at the minute because if you put the orange in, it might cloudy the colours and make them muddy. So I'm going to keep the orange and the red for the last bits. So now what I do, I'm working at this edge here along to that edge there. I blow. <laughs> So you get some sort of colour like this, not too much. You can see it's not mixing too much. Then I'll come along here. And then where I want the two, try and keep them even so it looks like they've come across. And then again into the edge. So the colours flow over the edge and drip down. You can see you've got your basics here of colours and flowing over the edge at the top. This is my assistant Carol by Debbie McGee. Uh, then the straw very dirty excuse it very sorry and then you find the definitions of where the things are so here Not too much on this one because it's got quite a nice shape. Like that. And then what I'll do, where well, you see all the colours have come down into the back here. Let's just blow them that way. Blow the black back into some of the colours.
and some of this where you push the colour down it leaves like strands so it gives like a feel of maybe roots or something along that line This one here, it's got quite a nice shape, so I don't want to do too much with it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of orange here and there. Maybe a bit there. Bit up here. That's that. I don't know whether to put this bit of red in or not. I might put just a couple. And over here. And then, I think I might do, is a little bit of black here, just a touch, and one there, and maybe one, <laughs> excuse the dog bark. And that, I think, is about that. So then, not too much, because I, I don't like it too much, but just try and get 
some of the patterns that set the car on fire. to me and that is it as it is <laughs> in the world of Gordon Ramsay Donald Gregor in Norfolk Norwich handing over to you thank you very much